Hello everyone, I am Kat. Welcome to my channel, you have arrived. For today's video, I'm going to be doing oh, one of my favorite types of videos, an experimental video, and I'm gonna be experimenting with the shingling method. I've never used this method before, so I'm very curious and very excited to see the results that it's gonna have on my curls, and if you would like to check out those results too, then stick around with me, don't go anywhere, and keep watching. And if you do enjoy today's video, be sure to hit the like button, and if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. All right, I got to shimmy a little closer here to talk about the shingling method. Now, when I first heard about the shingling method, I was like, so I went ahead and I like Googled some stuff. I even obviously watched some other YouTube videos and got an understanding to what in the world is the shingling method. Now for us curl friends out there, there's so many different methods, techniques, and it's forever changing because people are always experimenting, even yourselves, myself, we're all experimenting with our curls and trying to figure out what do I do with these little curly whirly things. And we're trying to do the best that we can for our curls to get the most healthiest, shiniest, glossy, poppin' curls that we can possibly get. And when I came across the shingling method, I, at first, I was really like, who's gonna do this? That is gonna take forever. Nobody has that kind of time. I will never, ever, ever, ever do this. I like, I can't, eat, I'm not doing this. I can't do this. Who is gonna spend their time doing that? What? And then I thought about it for a little bit and I decided I'm gonna give it a try. That is what we're doing today. The shingling method. Whew. So I'm obviously gonna speed through some things because I'm not gonna record this whole entire method because oh my gosh, we'd be here all day long and I want to hang out with you guys all day but I'm sure we all have other things that we got to do so I'm gonna speed through this as quick as I can and show you the technique and hopefully we'll be getting some results some awesome amazing wonderful pop-in results I can't fit it all in there it is <laughs> so enough messing around I'm going to go and hop really fast into the shower I'm gonna give these curls oh my gosh ouch I'm gonna give my curls a nice Try not to tingle them. Apparently I'm failing at that. <laughs> now that I have released these curls, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the shower. I'm gonna give my scalp a good scrub, cleanse these curls, and then I'll be right back so we can start the shingling method. So fresh and so clean, clean. Off camera, I already added a, kind of like a leave-in into my curls, because I like to put a little extra hydration and moisture into my curls, and then today, I'm just gonna use one styling product to do the shingling method, and that is a gel. And I'm gonna be using, the gel is from Curls, it is their Goddess Curls Botanical Gel. I don't know if it's jelly or gel, 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 something like that. So let's give you a little look. Now, this is of course what I'm using on camera, all the products that I used off camera, like the kind of, it's more of a moisture milk and then the shampoo and conditioner and a one minute mask. I will put all of those products in the description box below for you if you're interested in checking those out. But for now, it's time to get to shingling. Let's shingling. <laughs> all right, so I started the sectioning off process. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit smaller, so it'll be easier. The smaller the sections, the better. Yeah. All right. Okay, so you're gonna pick whatever product it is. I got the gel, so I'm gonna add this gel to this section right here. Typically with the shingling method, you wanna take like every curl is what you wanna go down, so you don't want big clumps of hair. So I'm gonna try to go as tiny as I can without being ridiculous. I'm gonna take like some hair and go right down it. So a little bit of hair and pull right down. Okay, 
That's the first section. Move on to the, <laughs> to the next. So here we go, adding some of that gel. All right, Whew. okay, so that took well over a half hour. I don't think it quite took me an hour, but it definitely took me over 30 minutes. And my arms are very tired and very sore. I guess that's just with practice and doing it. I have to like, or you know, maybe do some more push-ups and some bicep curls. Anyways, the time it took to do it and just like getting tired and like, oh, my arms in the air, brr, that was probably the only, part of it that was like not fun. It just kind of took a while. But on the other hand, I'm really impressed with how my curls look just here. Like they're really, really nice and defined. I feel like I, I do, I have like so many curls everywhere. I'm like really excited about seeing the results once everything is diffused. And now I'm gonna go ahead and continue with my usual routine. I'm gonna let my hair air dry for about an hour then I'll diffuse and I will come right back and have the results. So like, here they are, they're coming. Wowzers, I am just so impressed with how my curls turned out. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, I just get a closer look. was a little bit of a good view from the back. I don't know, but all I do know is that this turned out really, really nice, and I'm definitely impressed with it. I definitely would do this technique again. Am I gonna do it every like wash day or even like on co-wash? No, <laughs> probably not. Um, not probably, no, I won't. But it's definitely a wonderful, wonderful method. Um, I feel like too, if you just wanna do more concentrated with this method, like focus on certain areas and just shingling, like shingling a few problem strands or like curls, I think that would be enough if it's something you can't do your whole entire head, just kind of focus it a little bit and you should have really great results. And I can't wait to see how long these curls last, how many refreshed days I can get out of them. But I'm very, very excited with my results from the shingling method. Oh my gosh. And let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried the shingling method or maybe you wanna try. So let me know if you do. And if you do, please share your results and follow me on Instagram so then you can like tag me and you can share and let me know if you tried the shingling method because I hope you have such wonderful results as I did. Again, time consuming. It's worth it. If you can put the time and somehow dig deep and find the patience and put that in there too, you will have some really nice glossy pop in, very, very frizz free curls. I'm so impressed. <gasps> yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and checking out my video. All of my curl friends and my makeup lovers, I hope that you will come back this Monday and join me for a new video. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Very excited to see how this mess the from the scalp, get my curls nice and cleansed. <coughs> it is their botanical gel. Am I saying that right? No. As you can see, the shingling method is really helpful to try to get your curls to be as 
frizzy as uh, break time. Uh, I'm almost done. Be sure to come back next Monday and join me for a new video. Didn't I already just say that? <laughs>